So that's how we have it now. So um, what we're going to do, let me just go ahead and check what I have done initially and all this. So we have an interesting uh, next effect we need to apply here is the text effect and all that. So let's see the next effect is that the text effect and all that. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and apply that. I'll um, raise this up, take my adjustment layer a bit up, and uh, explain this a bit. I don't have to do this when I'm doing this. So I think it gets my text too, and um, that's this guy over here. Gets my text too, and then click on my screen. Trust me, I have clicked. <laughs> All right, so just wait for a couple of. Uh, um, okay, cool. So there it is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and, and add our text. I'll put here yeah, introduction. Introduction. As I'll type in there. So I typed in um, introduction on the screen, but let me just place that properly. Um, I'll come over here and drag that text down to the beginning here. Sorry, just at the bottom of the adjustment layer and go back to my screen. And I think I'll be needing to go to my essential graphics uh, panel just to get my text right. No, that's uh, just scale. Move this a bit to the left and stuff. Let's move this a bit to the left. So. And um, while on my text, I go to my edit and click on my introduction here. And, uh, and this is just a front. Font I actually use for for most of my work is Montserrat. But in this case, I'm going to be using Impact. I don't think I have it yet. Impacts, okay. Impacts, impact here, yeah, right here. All right, so that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, just drag it. Okay, or perhaps I just go down here, click here to centralize it at the middle here. Let's scale it a bit up, bit, uh, raise this up a bit. done that I'll come down here and perhaps just cut the text at every bit at every marker just click here and just cut the text right here I'm sure you remember what our cut to is let's see okay cool all right so let's just do a little animation on the text introduction let's do an animation on the text introduction so Okay, I zoom in it in the middle. So I come here as we have been doing all this time, right? Cool. So I think this is one thing we we should be very used to by now. That is the the animation aspect of this stuff. So I just come down to my um to my text here, go to my transformation and my transform here, and uh, perhaps make this around one. 50, let's make it 150, scale up 150. And then somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle of our clip here, I'm going to share it middle from here, between here and here. I'll just restore it back and stuff. So, highlights, right click, Bezier, and you know, just do the one very common thing which is this cool. as well all right so let's begin and see how it looks all right okay, let's see okay so we have a bit of like rendering to do on top of it but before going further let me just uh, change the 
my anchor point, like puts my anchor points in a meter. Let me have the anchor points in a meter. Stuff. So it can it scales to the meter. And definitely, of course, we have to do that for the rest of the cool. Right, so it scales in with the scales in with the um scales in with the intro. That's the the corporate and all of that the black background that actually was there and all of that that's which is what we want to achieve and stuff so i just come here uh, since we made some adjustments on we made some adjustments on the we made some adjustments on the um the anchor points how to do it for the rest of them so just to for uniformity and stuff so i'll just come here and down to my text my text transform making sure this is selected okay all right i'll move my anchor points here just as get it all right that's it over so here move it Just make sure when you get this icon showing, it means the icon points are selected. So just need to find a way to move it to the middle. It's not actually happening to be moving it to the middle, that's all. But then again, you need to work with a very fast, pretty fast system and stop. You need to work with a good system. And that's, that might actually be the issue that I'm having right here. And you need to work. I actually, the system actually quite fast it's just uh, when you have a lot of files that you have to work with uh, you encounter problems like this you encounter issues like this also by then do what we did initially just cut at every marker point and stuff so, okay so we have that and let's go ahead and do add our text the way we want it to, do, to be so what i'll do is at this at this point I'll just come in here and then I type in what I need to type in at the on the screen. I just type what I need to type in on the screen. Okay, so introduction to math, I believe, and new. This is just a random word I'm using, like not particularly. right here and for the first clip here this one here i'll just go and uh increase my tracking for that i'll increase my tracking for that make sure that uh okay all right just make this a 200 for my tracking here. Say okay. Cool. All right. And I just centralize it. How to do that? So everything's in place. So I'll just do that for the right button. Just to see what's the right. That's all. Editing and finding what's the right. Making sure I'm doing it right in the middle and stuff. Introduction and to new videos. Um, learning. These are just random words. It's not necessarily. <laughs> I don't know anything that means anything. It's random words I'm using. So let and I'll cut that at the middle. 
let's see. And, um, the first track, the first uh, text clip, I have it that way. I have it uh, with a new tracking. So I'm going to click there. Yeah, and making sure that it's centralized. This is it over here. So I did 200 tracking now. Permita, so making sure it's in the middle. Yeah. Okay. So why it's quite this story here? I think we all know what we can do to make this faster. So what I'm just going to do is just to make the system uh, my render there faster. I'll just go and then out uh, quickly and quickly render it. You know, pre-render it. So oh, how it's you would call course this a lot you would compress your system holding you back from doing some things and all of that so that's the reason why you're having this you have to be prepared. so you have to be prepared for it like you know now your system will not always be very powerful to handle um the kind of projects that you're working with not on simple projects anyways uh, but then again when it does happen so you need to know what to do you need to know what to do you need to understand that okay this is actually normal uh like you know com this is actually a normal um issue like having a system filled up and all of that so I, I work a lot on this system and that's one of the reasons why it uh, gives this issue but if you're working on a very good system maybe perhaps from like a 16 gig ram systems that should actually work very well for you and all of that like very very powerful editing software perhaps a macbook um alien where systems those are actually very good systems that you can use for this kind of a project and stuff so all right guys so we don't run uh, pre-rendering as well i'll call that so so as you can see it's really the first time so let's just finish up what we started. By the way, yeah, let's just go ahead and do the finish up style. Yeah, fun. We're having fun, right? Cool. Nice. Nice, we're having fun. All right, cool. All right. Don't mind me, I joke it up. So let me just put this, centralize this. And then we'll move on to the next one. H hand documents, cool. And then move this in the middle here. Learning. So what should come after learning? Learning, learning, growing. Yeah, that should work. Growing, learning, growing, and yeah. growing, learning, growing, achieving, and what have you. So just centralize it do what we do and uh, see cut it at the middle yeah okay make this to be 200 just like we did before centralize the words very simple Good. and let's come to the last one hopefully this is the last So click here. All right, learn growing, innovating. This is me just me using different words, like you know, don't necessarily need to use the words I'm using and stuff. We're just doing this for the sake of uh, the class. Growing, innovating. If I know how to spell innovating, yep, that's what innovating because that's what we do here i believe yeah we innovate cool all right let's click here just bring this up to where is my guy okay. here it is 200 all right cool centralizing you know that all right i think again i'm just going to say thank you because i know it's a lot of work coming next so i need to thank you i don't know this is a lot of work but thank you for being there 
Thank you, guys. I really appreciate your time and your efforts. So, now my guy, my tracking guy. Yeah, this guy over here, that's my tracking guy. So, I'm sure it, sorry, first of all, I have to like cut it. Make sure I'm tracking. Yeah, you guessed it. Centralized for experiment. And check. And centralized. So come here to 100. the entire thing looks like. I'm going to do one last uh, rendering to see how. So I press my eye to have making sure everything that I need to show is all marked out here. So control S also always remember to save. So I'll go back to my S and then render into out stuff. We just need the we need a very good preview of our work before we render now i'm doing this for the purpose of uh, the class not for my own purpose for my own personal um not for my personal content so i'm doing it because of the class so i may not be rendering per se like into the fonts that uh we can clean maybe mp4 and um no i'm not going to be rendering that it's not necessary for me if you didn't need it i could render it for you you just have to uh, give it a request. So for now, I'm doing a pre rendering just so that we can see in a very short time what we have done without any lagging and without any holdback. That's what I'm doing right now. It's very, very important. We can see from here how the yellow and the red layers are gradually turning into green as our rendering frames increases or as our percentage uh, increases. So we're going to be doing this often just so that we have a very smooth uh, play. Very, very important. Very, very important. And I said in, the, uh, in uh, previously, yes, we do need like some really good systems to work with. If we are working on heavy projects, trust me, my system is actually working on a lot of projects. I use a five effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Illustrator, so just on this one system. So it's like takes a lot of work on it. And um, also, uh, Premiere Pro is not the only application that we use for our editing. Um, yeah, I, I mean, as related to Adobe, Adobe packages, I think there is a Premiere Rush, which can basically do everything, basically everything that we work, we're doing right here on our systems. Yeah, and uh, well, you find Premiere Rush on your mobile devices, your tab or your phones, and, and so on. Yeah, so you have Premiere, Premiere Rush and uh, in those, in, uh, in that device, in, sorry, with Premiere Rush, you actually find the same um, output and same interface as Premiere Pro, but you have it basically on mobile devices and that works very well, just in case you do not have a system that you're running with. But you should also know that, okay, the capacity of the system is definitely higher than that of uh, of a phone or a tablet so yeah so you have to consider the projects that you are working on to be able to uh you have to consider the projects you're working on to be able to run it or uh, execute it on a mobile device uh, very very important but for those of us who actually have systems yes uh do get very good systems to work with at least at least the core i5 system should do a core i5 system is giving that should actually do. I'm mentioning this now because, okay, uh, nothing happens without a reason. Like, you know, uh, system slows down and tell you, okay, this is why it's actually slowing down. You could experience the same reason and then have questions about it. So this could actually be the reasons. Yeah. So um, let's just wait a couple of seconds more and in no time we should have our work cutouts or done for us. And stuff and then we'll have a good intro and uh, I think we can start doing all that like you know videos from here we could do some much more um, uh, I don't know like apply some of the things we learned from here on those other videos and stuff so we're almost there 
this is 76, 74 out of 86, and yeah, we're almost there. And as soon as we add it on, we can get some images. Good. All right. So that's what this is what we have. All right. So what we've been able to achieve now is the syncing. We've been able to achieve syncing of videos, video clips to audio sounds and we just found that okay, we can actually do it or run this automatically we have like you know an automatic sequence of of syncing audios to videos yeah there's also the part of animating some of the uh clips and then using our bizarre and you know having our graph editor and and all of that i think that's also, also the introduction of uh, our adjustment layer and the little way that we could use it and you know the couple of other ways that we use our adjustments they has to hold effects and all of that and also we talked about how we could um, uh, import precepts and some of these things that mean that okay uh, we're going to be talking about we're going to be going deeper into in further uh, videos so for now thank you very much guys i do hope you learned a lot from this video thank you guys bye